Hey guys, Stitching May here. Just going to do the October Stitchy Spot Tag. Um, I've kind of shown you guys some of my organization, so I'm not going to really go through that. I'm just going to show you kind of where I stitch. Um, <clears throat> this is my chair that I sit in when I stitch in my true Stitchy Spot. This is supposed to be a breakfast nook, but I've kind of turned it into my craft corner. Um, you know, I've got my my storage up there, and then my storage shelves there. And I have my recliner that I sit in. Obviously, I moved these pillows. Those are there just to keep my chihuahua from making this his very luxurious chihuahua bed. <laughs> um, this table goes with me anywhere I stitch. Um, most of the time I stitch here. Especially if I'm here by myself or if my son's in bed. But if my husband and I are watching a movie and I'm stitching, I just take this in the bedroom with me or I'll take this in the living room with me. I'm not going to show you the bed that I stitch on or the couch that I stitch on because it's not very interesting. It's just it's just the bed and the couch. But this table is just one of those um, TV tape tray tables. And on it, I keep my the <clears throat> tray from the inside of my sewing basket. I keep my pins and my scissors and my needles. I keep my my um my little orts in there until I actually add it to the big ort jar. And um, of course, I have my daylight lamp that I use. It kind of swivels. I showed you guys that. And next to me, I always have my work in progress box. That way, if I need anything like pattern or whatever out of the box, I can get to it. I keep my lap stands and my floor stands kind of back in this back corner behind my chair. And um, then I've got all kind of other little organization stuff here like pins and cue snaps and stuff like that. And of course this is my floss. And then this becomes the catch all area for whatever reason. Um, Anything that's mine gets put on this, <laughs> and then I have to reorganize it from time to time. Um, normally, I watch Floss Tube on my tablet. By the way, I love this. It reminds me of daisies and dragonflies. But um, normally, I watch um, my Floss Tube videos on my tablet. You know, I'll use it beside me. But lately, I have been setting up another table here with my PC and watching it on there. Um, but that's really it. Um, my view out the window is just my neighbor, the side of my fence in my neighbor's backyard so it's nothing nothing impressive and as far as my view from my chair it is just kind of into our kitchen and living room nothing too fancy I will show you I now have my woodland sampler proudly displayed on the wall I actually got this little hanger at the Goodwill for like 50 cents <laughs> it was part of it, it had a lace um like doily thing with it and I told them that I didn't want the doily and they sold me that for just 50 cents <laughs> but I also have realized that I have not shown you I've referenced my aunt's cross stitch project several times and never really shown it to you I've also never introduced introduced my chihuahua there's our puppy dog trip he's my stitching buddy sometimes <laughs> but here is <clears throat> The project that my aunt did years and years ago. So I can get that glare to go away. But um, she had finished it all, but this bottom corner right. Where am I? At? This bottom corner right here. And um, instead of finishing it for her, I went and I just put her initials in so that I. Um, I didn't want to finish it for her. I wanted to leave it the way it was. But we recently had that frame. But that's um, one of the cross stitches I have displayed in my house. It's my aunt's. But that's really everything for now. And thanks for watching.